Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to look at something that is included in the newest version of the game. So let's go ahead and start by going to Grid Map, and then we'll probably make our way somewhere else pretty soon after that. So this version adds a modification to the Ibishu Covet, and it is the Skid Plate, which is available just by selecting the Skid Plate edition of the car. So we can go ahead and select that and make it fire red, because that sounds like a nice color. Could have been a little bit better, but it'll work. So anyways, the skid plate edition means instead of having a wheel back here, you have that. It is a steely that's basically been welded to a piece of metal, which is the skid plate. The front, totally normal. The back, no traction at all, which means you could do crazy things like uh, this. If you want to do donuts, all you do is you hold the gas pedal down, go full steering lock to either direction, and you can do some amazing donuts even though it's a front wheel drive vehicle. I mean, it's not exactly what a normal traditional donut is, but... It's still fun to do, and still fun to watch. And it doesn't make the vehicle handle very good though, so if you want to do something simple like driving a straight line, yeah, that becomes difficult. You see, I'm all trying to just keep this thing straight and we're not going exactly straight along, are we? We're kind of swerving all over the place just to make sure we don't spin out. I mean, we could just spin out if we wanted to though, and then be like, yeah! I mean, that's the easiest way to try to control this, is when you know you, you can't recover it, just let it spin out, and then keep driving. At least I think that's the easiest way. I don't know. Some other person might have a better idea, but it seems to work out relatively well. Another way that works out relatively well is going in reverse, it seems like. And look at that. I got, I got nice, straight steering right here. We can't go very fast, but we're going to at least go straight. Relatively straight. Like, let's see. Test of precision. Try to get in between those two blocks. The back end was there, that's that's 50% of it, well 20% of the car was there, so it's 20% of it. And the back end's all beat up of course, but it really doesn't matter as long as your front wheels can do something. Go! Come on. I'm afraid to upshift because I don't know if I'll just bog down. I guess we're okay. Keep upshifting. So now it's even worse to control. Before it was terrible to control, but you can kind of manage it. Now it's damaged, so it's just like, yeah, you want to go in a direction? Too bad. You're going whichever way the skid plates make you. Oh, and they made me dodge the ramp. Well, the problem is the skid plates aren't even really there anymore. Like, yeah. <laughs> They're not there anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, reset this one. And now we can have our skid plates all good and functional. Let's see, how does this thing do on a suspension test? It'll go nice and slow over it. You know, suspension's actually there still. So they can actually go over that. I forgot, the suspension's totally there. It's just the wheels. Although now one of the skid plates has been rotated, which probably is not good. Did it get rotated back up right normally? Did it? I can't tell. Stinking shadows. Not quite. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it did! Oh yeah, we're good to go now. Go where? Wherever the skid plates will take me, because the other side is still not right, which means we're... We can't even really go in a straight line if I wanted to. Well, I'm sure you could. But it's, it's difficult. It's very difficult. So let's reset it so the skid plates are pointed in the correct direction. Alright, go in reverse some more because I like going in reverse. Making sparks fly everywhere underground. Look at that. Beautiful. Above ground, not so much. Come on, 180. Yes, beautiful. I want to hit that jump. Oh, I upshifted and that just upset the whole balance of the car. Like, I didn't steer or anything. I was just like letting it go because it looks so perfect. And it's like, man, did you just upshift? I think you upshifted. I'm going to spin out because you did that. How dare you? Here's a dumb idea. Let's try to take it over to that track and that's in the air. I can, do, I can barely do that with a good vehicle. Let alone one that I can't even keep in a straight line. That should be fun. Look, I'm trying to go left and it's not going left. I think the problem is you have to like stay on the throttle, which just feels really unnatural. You want to just keep accelerating to pull it through instead of ha what you would normally do to kind of stabilize out a car. It's weird. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go over that bump manually because that'll take a long time to actually get over it if I try to do it legitimately. So now we can just go make a right turn. Can it make this? Yes. Haha. -ha. It has a really good turning radius when you're going two miles per hour. And then you start going faster and it's just sliding radius. I'm going full throttle right now. 
I am full on full throttle. This little 1.5 liter engine is just going so hard. There we go. There's some acceleration. It was just so steep it, didn't, it couldn't uh, do much. I think I could have just held the clutch down and dropped it and it would have probably helped. And no way. No way. No way. I don't think anybody could do that. That you No. Nuh uh. I don't care who you are. You are not going to be able to actually go around that with a skid plate edition of the car. That's. That is absolutely impossible, I'm pretty sure. If somebody can do that, they are some sort of driving god who, I don't know, man. Just that, that no way. Nuh-uh. Maybe in reverse. Nah, not really, because you keep sliding in the direction even if your car's not pointing that way. Like, I am doing an amazing drift right here. It's not a normal drift, but I'm drifting the car in a very technical sense of the word. Like, we are going, we are totally driving crooked. Like, that's the direction we're actually traveling right there. We're traveling in that direction. No, we're not. I don't know what the camera's doing. Oh, I hit the jump. It's like I was planning that. I was. I was totally planning that. You didn't think I didn't see that jump coming? Because I didn't. I'm impressed that it's still driving after that jump. Usually that you hit a jump and the skid plates get all uneven and it's even worse to drive. Seems like it's still okay. Never mind, it's not okay. Definitely not okay. All right, just for laughs, let's take this to a racetrack and try to drive around a racetrack. I'm not going to get around the whole track, I'll tell you that now, but we could try it out. Let's go to a racetrack with walls around it so I have less chance to really badly mess up. So let's go to Hirochi Raceway. All right, grab my favorite car. Okay, I don't really like it that much. It's fun to use, but I would never want to actually drive it in real life because I would kill myself because, well, no control. All right, so I'm going to slowly make my way to the racetrack. All right, can we, like I'm, if I'm doing slow acceleration, we might be okay, I don't know. No, we're not, we are all over the place already. Reverse it. Oh, I'm not in manual mode, that explains why. The thing was probably shifting all over the place and I wasn't paying attention because I was just going based off of the engine sound. Or it might have not been shifting all over the place and I'm just using that as an excuse, I don't know. Either way, I feel safer if I'm using manual because I can know when it's going to shift, so I can kind of let up on the throttle to hopefully keep it a little bit more stable. Come on, no way. Now when there's actually, like, stuff around, you can see just how terrible this thing is to try to drive. Like, when you're in a big open area, it's like, yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, look, you can still control it some. But then you actually have to try to stay on a certain part of the road. E no, not going to happen. I don't even know why I came to a racetrack, to be honest. This is a dumb idea. Like, the way you would do the racetrack is basically spinning out in every corner a couple of times as you go through it. That's how you would do it. Oh, man, that's... that's dumb. So dumb. There really should be a race, though. Who could be the fastest around a racetrack with this? It has to be a really short racetrack, though. Because it's gonna take a half hour for a track like this one. Well, maybe not quite a half hour, but it's going to take a long old time. So I'm bored of this already. I just wanted to try it out. And it's just as difficult as you would expect. Going forward or reverse, it's difficult. So let's go ahead. And here's another idea. Let's see how the AI uses this. Let's go ahead and do a destruction derby and see what they do when you give them a busted up car like this. Well, at least it should be busted up for them because they're like, my back wheels are broken. But no, it's just made like that. So, finally spun out, and change level, and let's go to the derby map. I really wish I knew why this map sounds just like static. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, we're going to go to this arena and use this one to play around, because I think it'll be the most fun to play here, because you got the edges that'll kill you, and you got the hole in the middle, and it's a flat surface, so the abishus won't get stuck, because I'm pretty sure they'll get stuck relatively easily in the dirt arenas with the skid plate version. So we're gonna use this one, make it red. Then we'll do the next one, make it green. Like I wanna have a different color for all of them because you can have different colors per vehicle, so why not make use of it, right? Make a uh, cream one, that sounds good. And then we'll do, how about sea blue? Yes, I see the blue. Alright, I'm not going to do anything fancy for setting these up or anything. 
because I just want to have some fun with it. So I'm just going to say, here's my car over here, slightly separated from theirs because they don't understand that a destruction derby is not a one versus three scenario. It's actually a four versus, or like one versus all. They just all go after me. So I'm hiding myself right here. And then the AI is now controlled from here or only controlled from here. So I'm going to put it attack player and try to not make them just fall in the hole immediately. Okay, well, two of them fell in the hole immediately. What about you? What are you going to do? Yeah, I just bumped you. What you going to do about it? Oh, he's going to push me off the ledge, isn't he? No, -uh, no, you isn't. I'm going to push you off the ledge. No, I'm not. Wait, maybe I am. That's right. You go off that ledge all on your own. You're scared, aren't you? Yeah, I am man. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm falling down. All right, reset all. Let's do it like this. I'm too scared to move. Good thing they're dumb. Man, is this a one versus one or something? Because the other guys keep murdering themselves. All right, maybe I'll accelerate right after the start so they don't do that. There we go. Oh, goodness. Now I'm going to actually lose. Wait, green guy's gone. He's is gone. Beige is toast. Only one left is red. Red is dumb. Red is really dumb. He just... AI is not good at this. They don't know what to do with this car. It's like it got no traction. I'm gonna just shove him in the hole. If I can. I'm not in manual mode. I just realized that. I'm trying to shift. And it's like it's not doing anything. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Alright, you know what? Forget pushing them in the hole. Not gonna work, obviously. Alright, we got one of them. Oh my god, we were in, like, doing some amazing tandem drifting. It was beautiful. Never do that again. Now they're scared. Why do they keep driving off the edge like that? What if I do keep distance? What will that do? I've never used that one before. I think it's new. Uh, it's kind of like flee because they're so close to me. Oh, wait. No. That's interesting to watch because they actually kind of do things like on their own it's not trying to hit me kind of like that idea of not being a murder victim from the very start so if I start myself right about here that could work out kind of cool and now I should be able to accelerate a little bit and they'll accelerate a little bit and green car don't fall in the hole I saved his life I saved his life with that drift. If I spook him, he'll probably fall in the hole. Boo! Oh, he's... He can't fall in the hole even if he wanted to. He's hanging on for his life. He can't move if, no matter what. No! Base car! No! Red car's toast, too. I'm gonna bump you! Mm. No, not me, too. Please, no. Well, I'm stuck on the edge now. Oh, red car got bashed hard in the back. Base car there, okay. Cream car, whatever color you are. I guess that really uh, tests everything that you could test with that. That's, that's pretty much it. That's all there is. So. Let's, oh, I just thought one more thing, actually. How about we test how well can the car drive in the dirt? Like, maybe it has a chance in the dirt. I don't think it will, but we could try it out and see. So let's just pop it right here. Make it a fresh car. Now you can only teleport one car, it seems like, which is very saddening. Like, I don't know what's up, but you can't teleport cars as much as you used to be able to do. Yeah, nope. No better driving in dirt than the than regular road. I was wondering, maybe, like, the, uh, the, the skid plate could, like, dig into the dirt or something to get more traction, but nah. It still just slides all over the place. Um, so, that'll do it. Until next time, this is my BR. I'll see ya.